Today I'm going to show you how to implement a uh, shift run or control run to your game so that your player can start running when you when he hits either shift or control. You can pick whichever key you want. Uh, I'm going to go to, let's see, starter player. And then in the character, starter character scripts, I'm going to add a local script there. And I'll call this uh, make run. Let me make it a capital M, make run script. And that way we'll know what it does. All right, so we'll say local player, let's get our player. So game, get service, players. And then let's get a dot local player. And then from the player, let's get the character. Character, or if the character's not loaded yet, we're gonna do a character added and then wait for it to be added because we need the root part of the character. So we'll say character, wait for child and humanoid root part. And that's where the sound is now. It used to be on the head, but not anymore. So let's get the sound because we want to speed up the sound. We want to spe speed up the playback of the sound. So it sounds like he's running faster. All right, so we'll say sound, and that's on the humanoid root part. So we'll say root part, wait for child, and then we'll get running. And that's what it's called. All righty, that's the sound. The sound of running is called running. So this is a user input input service. So this is going to be when we hold our shift or our control key down. We're going to need this service. So we'll say game get service user input service. And let's get our key. So I'm going to do right and left keys. So I'll do a left run and that's going to be in an enum key code. And I'm going to use the control because the shift has that uh, shift lock with a scope thingy on it. So let me do, was it left control? I think it is, it is left control. But if you wanna do shift, just do left shift and you can see it pop up, but I'll do the control. So it's really easy to fix, really easy to change if you don't like the shift or the control. Let's do key code and I'll do right control on this one. And you can do right shift if you want, or you could do right control like what I'm doing. All right, now let's get our replicated storage. We are going to need to do a remote event, uh, get service, replicated storage. Here, let me just finish replicated storage. We're gonna need a remote event because we need to set the run speed of the character on the server side. That's the best place to do it. So I'm gonna do wait for child, and that is going to be my run RE, which I don't have. I'm making, I'll make this run remote event. So I'm going to go to replicated storage, add my remote event, and I'm just going to paste in this run RE so I don't spell it wrong because these have to be spelled the same, this run RE and that run RE. All right, now I'm going to make a function, a little helper function to see if either of the keys are down and that'll be easier to check in my if statement. So I'm going to say is run key down. So this will check to see if either of the run keys are down. So I'll return the user input service is key down for the left run or user input service is key down for the right run. So it'll return true if either of those are true. Now we need two functions for when we hold the key down and when we let the key up. So the first one is going to be on input and we're going to have our input which is our key and then we'll have our game processed this is something that gets passed in that we won't use but it gets passed in anyway so i'll make a variable for it so this is where we call our is is run key down and if that is true let's go ahead and get our sound and increase our playback speed so playback speed and it's normally times two we're going to make it not times four because we're going to double our speed we go ahead and now we're going to have our remote event and we're going to fire to the server we're going to fire a server event server did i spell that right fire server we're going to double our speed so we're going to make it 32 
and let's go ahead and just copy the on input for the end input because they're almost identical, right? But what I'm going to do is just say end input. These are the same, and then we want to check to see if not is key down. We're going to make the playback speed times two, which is normally what it is, and the run speed 16, which what it is what it normally is. Now we'll say user input service dot, I always do that, dot input began, and we'll connect it to on input. Then user input service input ended, connect it to end input, right? That's what we called it, end input. All right, now go to the top and copy these two lines for the replicated storage and the remote event, because we've got to catch those on the other side. So we'll go to our server script service, add a script, call it, um, we'll call this one make run. We could call it change run. Yeah, make run's good. It just has to make sense, and it has to be intuitive. All right, so now we'll make a function, local function, and I'm gonna say change speed, and we get the player in that comes free. So we just passed, remember we just passed the speed, but the player will come too because it is a uh, remote event from the client. All right, then we'll get our player, we'll get our character, we'll get our humanoid, I spell that right, humanoid, and then walk speed, and that'll be our speed. So we can set the we can set the um, sound on the client side, but we really need to set the speed of the character on the server side. So we need to catch our remote event, and there was an on server event, and that was at run re. We will connect it to change speed, and just get rid of these two extra parentheses, and now we should be running. All right, I'm gonna run. Now I'm gonna hold my control down. There we go, let it go. I don't know if you can hear the volume for that, but the sound is going twice as fast. All right, and there you go. Now you got a little run, uh, little script for your shift run. I did a control run, but it works the same way.